Hey, what's up, BFL fam? I'm Carlos, and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today, my top 12 designer fragrances for spring 2020. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thank you all for joining me today as always. I really do appreciate it and hope you're all doing fantastic. Why don't we start today off by showing some BFL love and giving this video a big thumbs up. If the video reaches 500 likes, I'll do a giveaway. Details at the end of the video. So spring is here next week. It actually falls this year on my birthday. It usually falls on the 20th, but this year it falls on my birthday, which is the 19th of March. And uh, I think that was because of leap year, if I'm not mistaken, but yeah. The weather starts to change, but it's not fully hot out yet or too humid or anything like that. It could be cold, it could be warm, it could be warm, it could be hot, but the weather fluctuates in the spring. So I kind of put together a list that I enjoy wearing. Now these aren't the best designer fragrances in the world. They're just my taste, things that I happen to own in my collection and I want to share with you. You may not agree with my choices. so. You can do a list of your own and maybe suggest to others, but today it's all about the ones that I happen to enjoy. A lot of these you probably will recognize from lists from previous years, because there are some that I just really, really stick to and am loyal to and love them a whole bunch. So let's take this away. At number 12, we have from the house of Giorgio Armani. This is Acqua di Gio Profumo. It's an aromatic, Aquatic released in 2015. You guys know what's up with this one. A lot of people love it, some don't, but I think it works for me and I love it. I even like it better than the recently released Profondo, but that's neither here nor there, just my personal taste. Number 11, an old leap of goodie from Chanel. This is Allure Home Sport OH3. This is a woody aromatic. It was composed by Jacques Poge. It was released in 2012. It's not the best, for me anyway, longevity, but this is one that I don't mind reapplying because I enjoy it that much. And whenever I wear it, I always get noticed. It never fails. At work, somebody will say, oh, I like that one. Actually, a lot of Chanel's just really happen to work on me. This is one of them. Moving on to number 10. A dumb reach, I'll admit, but it's a good dumb reach in my opinion. This is Versace. For Homme Dylan Blue. This is an aromatic fougere. It was released in 2016. It's a crowd pleaser. It's an easy grab. It's not too complicated to wear. And people just like it. And I enjoy wearing it. At number nine, moving along like I always do, you know, I don't take up too much of your time with these lists. I kind of do them real fast. I probably am like the, uh, <laughs> the Speedy Gonzalez of Topless on YouTube. Number nine, this is another one that wasn't a love at first for me, but I grew to enjoy it. It's Dior Sauvage. It's the Eau de Toilette concentration. I do happen to like this one in the summer months. It's a little stronger or a little more shower jelly than the Eau de Parfum and the Parfum, but I do happen to enjoy this one to wear on a daily, like for work and stuff in the spring. At number eight, this one is always on my list, especially spring. I have not done one list where this particular fragrance, the next one, wasn't on it. This is Hermes. This is Un, Sur, Un Jardin Sur Le Nil. Excuse me. This was composed. Composed. <laughs> I was doing good. Three minutes and no bloopers. Let's take that again. Up at number eight. Up next, at num Ay, Dios mío. up next at number eight, one that's always on my spring list since I started doing topless, because I really didn't do topless since I started this channel. I started a little bit late, but I do enjoy doing them now, and people do enjoy watching them. So this is from Hermes. This is called Un Jardin Sur le Nil. It was composed by Jean-Claude Elena, the perfumer who is responsible for the names of my cats, Jean and Claude. 
This is a fruity floral. It was released in 2005. It's got mango. It's floral. It's just happy and such a joy to wear in the spring months. I absolutely love this one. At number seven from Missoni. This is called Missoni Parfum for Om. This was released in 2017. It's a woody aromatic. A lot of people think that it resembles Blue de Chanel, and it does. It's not exactly the same, but it's definitely in that wheelhouse. How Blue de Chanel wears on skin is how this one will wear. Some people complain about longevity. I get pretty decent longevity with this one. So, Missoni Parfum Par Homme at number seven. Flying through this list, as always. Up next at number six, if you enjoy Dior Homme, the the good ones, not the one from this year. If you like Iris, but maybe find it a little bit too lipsticky or powdery, this next offering might be a nice substitute for that. It's from the house of Ermengindo Zenya. This is called Aqua de Iris. It is a woody floral musk that was released in 2017. It's a airy fragrance. You get a little bit of incense, you get Iris. It's not overly powdery. And it's a nice fragrance to wear if you find the iris in Dior Om a little bit too lipsticky for your taste. Personally, I happen to love Dior Om, the lipsticky one. Lipsticky and all, I love it, I love it, I love it. At number five from the house of Givenchy, this is Givenchy Gentleman Cologne. It's fresh, it's iris, it's airy, it's a great fragrance for a cologne concentration it wears pretty well on skin and yeah it's definitely an easy grab and will get you noticed because it smells really good at number four we have from my friend tom ford this is beau de jour the newly packaged beau de jour this used to be a private blend i actually have that one as well this one's a little bit lighter than that version but this is a great barbershop fragrance it's a lot of lavender, it's very masculine, it's very polished, and I think it screams well-dressed man. I love it. I actually love it for year-round, actually, not even just for the spring. At number three, I think this one always makes it around this spot. Actually, well, shh, let me not give it away. At number three, from Dior again, this is Aqua Fahrenheit. It's the DNA of the original, but a little more aquatic and a little lighter. You get the violet, it's here, but you don't get that gasoline-y type note that you get in the original. This is a great one to wear in the summer. At number two is probably a surprise to many of you. I don't hear anyone talking about it except for Carlos Cologne. Shout out to Carlos Cologne from PR, my boy. <laughs> number two is from the house of Toast. This is called Toast Man Intense. It's a little reminiscent of Mont Blanc Legend, but this has stupendous, stupendous performance. It's very fresh. It's a little on the loud side, but in the best way possible. Whenever I wear this, it definitely gets noticed. It's a great everyday, fresh and assertive fresh fragrance that's really good and I think will garner you a lot of compliments and you'll enjoy it if you happen to pick this one up. And number one, time for that drum roll. Oh, I got my uh, drum roll skill. At number one, as to be expected, from the house of Prada, this is Lone Prada. This is a beautiful, beautiful orange blossom fragrance. It's very bright. It's very happy. I enjoy this one so much. And uh, it's my number one for designer fragrances for spring 2020. Well, you guys, that's all I have for you today. Nice and quick, like I always do. The giveaway that I mentioned earlier in the video will be for one lucky subscriber. This can be worldwide. One subscriber, one winner can choose any three fragrances here and you'll get a five with the can of each of those if you happen to win this giveaway. To enter, all you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, like this video, then leave one comment down below what you enjoyed most about this video today. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on the bell icon to miss notifications and the reviews and content giveaways and all the fragrance fun always happening right here at BFO. Take care, sleep less, and I will see you in the next video.